Parental advisory. It means I say shit. I do what I want. Now watch this video. This year is known as my time. 14 to 15, you're mine. This is my life as I live with my cat and me. What you got to give? So sit and explore my life while I walk through life with strive. But I'm here for a all to show, even those left behind can't glow. What's up, everybody? It's been a couple weeks since I've made a video. Uh, as you guys know, um, uh, my computer crashed and all that, so my videos are going to be few and far between until I can manage to get a new one and uh, get the videos back up and running again. Uh, I figured uh, I'd make a video today because, you know, I kind of needed to. Uh, a lot of stuff's been going on the past couple weeks uh, that, you know, I just felt like I needed to share. So first things first, let's see here. Uh, I've been uh, working really hard to get a new job. Uh, as you guys know, I tried to go on that backpacking trip and uh, you know, it didn't work out for me, so I've been at Kelly's and trying to uh, uh, you know, get, get back at work and so on and so forth. But uh, you know, the past couple weeks uh, have been a little rough in that regards. Um, I've had a, a few interviews. I have one interview tell me that uh, because I haven't been working at places for that long, they didn't feel that I was able to handle doing the business and doing the job, which I found highly offensive. Um, that didn't pan out. And then I had another interview where, uh, you know, I went in for my interview. The guy liked me right away. And, uh, you know, he asked me at the end of the interview, you know, when can you start working? Stupid ambulance. Where was I? <laughs> now the ambulance is gone. Uh, so at the end of the interview, uh, he asked me, you know, when can you start? They just love using their sirens in the city. But anyway, at the end of the interview, he asked me when I can start working, and I said, you know, I can start right now if you want. So, he said, okay. So then I worked a six-hour shift. Uh, you know, after about two hours, I learned all the uh, item menus, all 30 dishes. And, you know, he left me by myself after two hours, and I had a party of 40 right off the bat, and I rocked that shit out, because, you know, I know what I'm doing. I'm not just some dumbass off the streets. And, uh... You know, that went well and everything. I had a, a schedule for a couple days. And then the next morning he calls me and he says, by the way, I forgot to ask you to bring in copies of uh, your schooling and your certificates from food and safety and all this other stuff from school, uh, to, uh, diplomas from school, taking culinary and all that. And I said, well, I've never gone to school for that stuff. I have never taken any safe food or safety certificate uh, courses or anything like that. So, I mean, I, you know, I was able to do my job and all that, so I didn't think it was necessary. And since you didn't mention it, I didn't know that was required. And he said, well, yes, it is We required of all new hires. And unfortunately, we can't give you the job if you don't have it, because then that would be unfair to all the other people who had to fall under the same rules and regulations and all that. So that was a disappointment. I got a job, worked a shift, and lost a job without doing anything myself within 24 hours. So that, that was a disappointment. I, that, that one kind of stung a little bit. And then I had another interview after that. And that didn't pan out. And then I got an interview at this restaurant that just opened. And it's a Persian place. But they sell, the, the menu consists of Persian, Mediterranean, and Acadian food, which is French food, or French cuisine, I guess you would say. And uh, you know, I counted the menu. There was over 100 items on it. So it was a massive amount of information to learn. So he said, you know, you can come in for two days on your own record, accord, uh, you know, you won't be paid for it. Uh, but, you know, I had a nice vibe of this place. It was a nice zen type place, a smooth, calming atmosphere. Everybody got along with each other and was nice and cordial. Um, but the guy who owned it was Persian and they had a, uh, another guy who was Persian who did the Persian menu. And then we had an Asian guy uh, or a Philippine guy. Um, who did the uh, the main dishes, and then there was uh, uh, another guy, a white guy. <laughs> I just, it was, because it was so split up in how they did the menus, I feel I have to just, or not, uh, I have to indicate which way they were. Uh, so we had the white guy doing the Acadian menu and so on and so forth. So 
uh, you know, I, I felt good about it. It was a lot of stuff to learn, so I went in uh, for my training shifts. I wasn't paid for it. It was perfectly voluntary. I ended up working 25 hours in two days, Saturday and Sunday. So I thought that gave a good impression. I was able to pick up a lot of things. There was a lot of things I didn't learn because a lot of people didn't order a lot of things. It was specific things, so there could be a lot of uh, menu items that came up that I, that I just didn't know because they weren't shown to me because nobody was ordering them. So on Monday uh, this week, uh, today is Thursday, so on Monday this week I went in for my first official shift. It was just me and another guy, uh, so I didn't have any training really. It was just kind of, you know, trying to wing it from the menu, which I did fairly well with. You know, I was willing to do everything they asked of me and this and that. You know, uh, Tuesday was my second shift, uh, full shift, and I ended up getting sent home early because it wasn't busy enough. And then... The, he had me on seven days a week. Two days, Monday and Tuesday, I'd be working the line as a cook. The rest of the days, I'd be a cleaner at night, working eight till close, which ended up the only being two hours. So Wednesday night, last night, I ended up working two hours, which is a fucking waste of my time in that regards. You know, it's, I'm just a glorified dishwasher. Um, and then he calls me this morning, he's like, yeah, some guy who used to work for, for us came back into town and he was asking for his job back, so I just gave him yours. Sorry, but we're not going to require you anymore. And I'm just like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> I try and 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 just fucking... Just, uh, I... But, you know, doing what I can. You know, just trucking through it the best as I can. Uh, feeling really bad that I can't contribute in regards to food or rent or anything like that at Kelly's because I'm so hard up on being able to get a job long enough to actually get some pay out of it. And, uh, you know, it's a little rough. Other than that, uh, I'm still working with John uh, from Occupy uh, on his campaign for city council. It's going fairly well. The incumbent that was in there before um, has dropped out of the race, so he has a very good chance of actually winning. Uh, so we're doing a lot of, uh, I'm doing a lot of videos, or trying to do a lot of videos for him. We created a YouTube channel for him, uh, and uh, you know I'm filming and editing the videos and uploading them onto there. And doing, he's doing a lot of canvassing. I'm trying to look at the labor union for. Uh, support, uh, which will probably turn out fairly well since we've done a lot of work with the labor union over the last year in regards to Occupy and activism in Halifax. So that's going fairly well. Um, other than that, I'm losing my fucking mind just trying to get a goddamn job. So that's been my focus for the last couple of weeks. Uh, and that's going to be my focus for the next however long it takes me to get a decent job here and to get some money back on the track and, you know, be able to start making these videos on a regular basis no more rambling on or anything like that so i hope you uh stick with me throughout this uh, i'm trying my best and i know you guys who have been here with me since the start uh look forward to when that actually uh, takes place when i'm able to get stable and get back on track so i appreciate you guys' support and i'll see you guys next time stay strong stay wise you wankers peace